This is our old shower head. It looks kind of nasty, doesn't it? Thankfully, today we're going to be able to install a new one. And this is Handsome Hubby, who's going to install it, or as my mom likes to call him, my tool man. Yep. So today we're going to be taking out the old yucky shower head and replacing it with a Delta Intuition 2-in-1 shower head. And you're going to see how to do it. An old shower head, depending on how tight it is on there, should be able to come right off with just regular hand pressure. And there will be some water come out of it. Ew. <laughs> so now we've got the old shower head off. Um, and what you want to do before you put the new shower head on to seal from leaks is just put a real, uh, just a couple rounds of Teflon tape. You don't need much. And you just want a little bit at the end, specifically when you're putting metal to metal. From the shower head. Now we are ready to install the shower head. I've put just a little bit of Teflon tape around to seal between the metal and the metal of the shower head. It does have a rubber gasket inside, so I recommend that you only put it hand tight. You are welcome to use pliers or a crescent wrench to tighten it down further, uh, but with the rubber gasket inside and the Teflon tape, hand tight should be adequate. And then you can just align it where you want it. We'll be ready to install the hand held. Hand held is very simple. It's basically the tubing from the shower head itself and the handheld. The handheld piece has a plastic thread so there's no Teflon tape necessary. Again, in my opinion, I feel like hand tight is plenty adequate. The handheld itself fits up in the shower head, clicks in, and the other end fits on the shower head itself. This one has a rubber gasket as well, but I do recommend it be uh, tightened with a tool. So that you don't scar your finish, you can just use a pair of pliers and an old t-shirt. Just drape the old t-shirt around. Tighten it to your desired tightness, and voila, you are done. You can let it run for a few minutes and check for leaks. And if any leaks are noted, you can tighten any areas that show leaks. That almost looked easy enough for me to do.